Well, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sure you recognize the setup. We're gonna have another um, brain fart. Another AD reaction video. I, again, I follow them on Instagram. I saw they just um, published the Gwyneth Paltrow, is that how you pronounce her name? Yeah, Gwyneth <laughs> House. And I am very excited to see what her style is like. I saw some pictures here and there, but I just wanna watch the full on video with you and then see what it looks like. Hi, AD. Welcome to our home. It's very quiet and it looks like a retreat. I feel like you would go there for a yoga retreat weekend. So this is the entryway here. We built this from the ground up. So it's the first time I've ever done anything like that. It was quite an undertaking. I think having spent so much time as an expat in Europe and really falling in love with Georgian proportions and those kind of details, I, I really wanted the entryway to feel like it. A chimney? at the entrance. That's interesting. I've, I've never seen that before. So why would you have a chimney right in the foyer? Because like usually nobody's going to sit by it. Um, and usually when you open the door and you close it, there's just so much air movement that goes through. So the heat is not really staying in the room. But let's see. Own special room. And so with the architects, we conceived of having a fireplace, which is something you see a lot in Europe. And then is that true? I've never seen an, a fireplace in entryway. Actually, in a Europe, because the weather is so cold, they actually have the foyer and they have two doors. So the air is trapped in the foyer and the cold air doesn't go through to the living room. Uh, that's interesting. I am sure I didn't fail my architecture class. I'm sure we didn't study this, but I might dig a little deeper into this. Um, interesting. Okay, we're learning new things. Entryway and just gives this really nice feeling of warmth and welcome as you come in. The tiles reminds me of, you know, as I said, my time living in London and just a detail that's classic and traditional. I really like the mix of having the things that are sort of systemic to the house. They're more traditional. We have reclaimed fireplaces and old floors and then... It's good that uh, she, uh, she has a reclaimed um, wood and, um, and tile because that's very sustainable and very environmentally friendly. So I applaud her on doing that. And more and more people should, uh, should, 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 should go for reclaimed wood. And it gives this, um, this look of vintage. And if that's the kind of style you like, I really suggest that you go for reclaimed wood or reclaimed material. And it has this like um, wabi-sabi look to it. You know, things that are uh, were worn out, but they still have this, um, like they've been through a lot. I think it gives sort of leeway to have a more contemporary like mixed experience with the varnishings and stuff like that. This is... That was an interesting sink. It's one of my favorite little rooms of the house, the powder room. It's got all of this hand done, antiqued mirror and hand painted wallpaper. It's got a reclaimed sink. Oh, that's a reclaimed sink. That's why. That's so pretty. I really like the texture of that. It's got tons of different textures and metal finishes. It's really pretty. I love it. It makes me feel very grown up when I pee in here. So this is the dining room here. I enlisted my friend Bridget to help me furnish the house. She's been one of my best friends for 20 years and I was trying to do it by myself. And uh, it was, I couldn't do it. But some Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like how she mixes contemporary with um, with classical. You know, the shape of the table is very interesting. It looks like it's straight out of a, a MoMA museum. It's, 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 it's Some of the things I had ordered before we started, like this beautiful table. This came from France, a beautiful furniture gallery called Colco's. 
And then Bridget found these really cool contemporary chairs. Ooh, very futuristic. It's, um, she's bold. Like, I like how she's not afraid of mixing all these styles. She has um, contemporary, uh, traditional, modern, futuristic, all in one place. And everything is tied pretty well. You know, it doesn't look like it's out of place or like there's a mismatch or something. Everything kind of reads at one. So that's kudos to her architect and her best friend and of course to her as well. And this chandelier, which I can't decide if it looks like a grasshopper or lily pads or something. It's a little futuristic for me. Bridget and I, I want to say we fought, but we definitely, there was some friction and then we landed on it being pretty cool and fabulous. That's what I love about it is the pearls. I think they're so beautiful and unique. There's something also a bit Star Trek about it, but I've grown to really love it. And again, we have a reclaimed fireplace here from Chateau Domingue and then- I'm so poor, I don't even know what Chateau Domingue is. This wallpaper is so amazing. It's hand painted by these artists in Los Angeles. It's called MJ Atelier and they, they also made the powder room wallpaper. They do these incredible 3D wallpapers and all kinds of different textures and colors. So I love that the wallpaper really grounds the room in kind of a more traditional feel. And then again, we have some super contemporary. I like the wallpaper a lot. I, um, I wish it was a little bit more lively because I think it has like a gloomy, uh, rainy type of London day. Um, and I'm, I, I'm just thinking, what if it had a little bit more colors, you know, would that be a little bit too much for the room? Because there's already quite a few things happening. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what it would be like to have more colors items mixed in. I entertain a lot. I cook all the time and I wanted it to feel both welcoming but also that you could have like a formal dinner party and I think it strikes the right balance. I mean the kitchen's right there so we have our informal there but it's also nice to just kind of gather around here with the kids and you can spill pasta and wine and it just wipes right off. So this is the kitchen. I love it so much. The nice. It looks like straight from a, um, a countryside in Europe. And I like that. Again, you know, her table, dining table and her um, fan or like pendant looks so futuristic. And then right across the room next to it is a completely different vibe. And it's just amazing. It's like you're going through history of architecture in this house. Beautiful, I love it. Part of the home. This was designed by the architects who did the house, Roman and Williams. They're an amazing design firm in New York. And they did all of the architecture. And they had done my... I just noticed she has a lot of cool tones in her house. A lot of black, gray, blue, um, black. Um, it's not very... Um, natural tones like warm muted tones it's more of like on the cooler side but it's it's pretty good New York City which I don't have anymore they had done this kitchen there for me which I lived in this kitchen it was bright and airy and white and it had a, lo a lot of these similar details like in the cabinetry so I wanted to pull in some elements from the kitchen that they had done for us there cabinetry being one and also having the range be in the middle of the room because I cook so much and I spent so much of my time facing the wall and my kids would be in the room. So when it's like this, you, you have the opportunity to cook and chat with people. This is Portuguese tile. It's reclaimed tile that Robin from Roman and Williams found. And I just like look for those. We have something very similar in Morocco too, uh, Portuguese, Moroccan, um, and it looks, um, it brings a little texture to the, um, to the house and makes it look a little more homey and um, it, it, it plays well with her cabinetry as well. Little elements to kind of bring some texture and some homey feeling in. We also put the fireplace in which is like such a luxury to be able to have a wood burning fireplace in your kitchen. You know it does take me back to my days living in the UK. I had two wood burning fireplaces in the kitchen and it was just such an important element of like beating those cold dark 
it's um the the fireplace wall is pretty interesting because when they first when i first glanced at it i thought that was a tv wall and the black hole was the tv itself but now that i'm looking at it and you know the tv and then you get the two pendants by the side but it looks cool that it's um it's it has the modern um feel to it with the stripes and uh, the vertical lines but then when you look at it it's a wood burning fireplace so it's um that contrast is really cool ah i love this house winters and um, I just got so used to having the fires on all the time so when Robin and Stephen and I came to sit down and design the house you know I said I'd love to have if, if it's possible I'd love to have a fireplace in the kitchen and then and then Bridget and I kind of came up with this really cool treatment to make this fluting with plaster which I I found on something similar on like Pinterest <laughs> and then I was like I think this would be such a nice way to finish the wall instead of just having some drywall. And then Bridget found these amazing lights that are just so beautiful. I also like the uh, gold detailing. It gives the, the place, um, you know, an elegant uh, upscale feel while having all these natural elements and then you just throw in some gold hints here and there it gives it the upscale look again. It's, it looks very high-end. And then this I love particularly. This is like <laughs> my dream <laughs> to have all my pots lined up on um, these beautiful cast iron pots. I don't know about this because I, it, it's making me nervous the fact that these um, cabinets are open. And I know if you have like open shelving, usually on a wall, not um, under a cabinet because I'm afraid that things will get messy and she's a celebrity she probably has a lot of people cleaning after her but you know it sometimes it can look a little cluttered uh, is gravitate towards whatever produce is in season then you know in spring is like you start to get this abundance in California of all this amazing produce I mean we get it all year round we're very spoiled but I love really fresh like just farmers I love going to the farmers market and planning the meal on the fly my son's favorite recipe that I make is turkey meatballs or turkey ragu he loves pasta and he loves turkey sauce so I would say that's his favorite and my daughter loves when I make their but their pasta lovers I think her favorite is I either this lemon parmesan pasta that I make her or a spicy marinara. Very easy. This also was like a dream come true for me to have these particular blue plates like on, on a wall. And I, I think it just, you know, if you, if you get plates, you know, that have a beautiful pattern, you want to see them and usually they're just stacked in the cupboard. So we did this plate wall and it brings. That's pretty cool. Um, I like how they are using it uh, as part of the decoration and it does take up a lot of space but you know if you have space then have kind of like a display wall for your for your cool plates and, and, and cups. Pop of color to the house and then Stephen, the architect he insisted on us realizing his rolling ladder which I love and I'm so glad because there was a fight between Matt the contractor and Stephen about whether this would be actually like usable. Ah, I saw that ladder there and I didn't even think twice about it, but that's pretty cool. Usually, yeah, because usually you have this empty space above the cabinets and you can have cabinets that go all the way up, but then you're not going to be able to reach them. Or you just have, you cut your cabinets like uh, 12 inches before you reach the ceiling and then they just end up collecting dust but that's pretty cool that you can have these this um rolling ladder but honestly i think it gets in the way of never seen it before but it's interesting i think if i have one in my kitchen i'll trip over this all the time <laughs> it's gonna be so hazardous <laughs> like usable and workable. This is something that I learned from the woman that I bought my house from in Los Angeles, Windsor Smith, another designer. I loved how in different rooms she completely changes floors and I think it's such a nice way to offer a distinct personality to a room and so I'm not afraid of changing floors as you'll see as we go through.